today I am here with a different video. Obviously you can tell by the title what it is, so I don't know why we always start the videos like this, but it occurred to me that most of you, probably all of you, yeah, everybody doesn't know much about me because, you know, on YouTube we only show what we want to show and you, do, you guys don't get to see our personal lives or what we're like outside of this little box that we're in on the internet. So I thought today that I could show you guys or tell you guys um, 50 random facts about me, things that I do, things that are weird, things that I love, just so you guys can get to know me better so there's not such a big wall up in front of us. I'm not making any sense. So I'm going to show you guys, or no, I'm going to tell you guys 50 random facts about me. Um, they may be weird, but it is who I am, so I hope you enjoy these. Growing up, my favorite color was red, and as I got older, my color, my favorite color changed to purple, green, blue, pink, purple, and now it is back to red. As you can see, I'm wearing red lipstick. This is not supposed to be, like, on purpose. It's just, it just happened. I don't have a clock in my room, so at night when I go to bed, I don't get up and look at the time, because I hate waking up at night, in the middle of the night, and it's like 4 a.m., and you know there's only two hours left before you have to wake up. It just drives me nuts, so I took the clock out of my room, and I just have my phone as an alarm, and I don't have a tendency to go and click to see what time it is, because just, that just takes effort. So, no clock in my room, good night's sleep. I am born the 21st of March and when I was born in 1993, that was the first day of spring. I know it changes like every year to the 19th to the 20th of March, but when I was born it was the first day of spring, so I am a spring chicken. My favorite song out of the One Direction new album called Four is 18. I do not like my food to touch on my plate. It all depends on what the food is. If it's like something wet with something dry, it can't touch, but if it's like two pieces of dry food, um, it can touch, but if it's wet, I don't like it to touch, it grosses me out. I quit university after a year and a half of being there, and then I switched to college after a year of working. So I t went to university for a year and a half, quit, worked for a year, and then returned to college. My phone, my cell phone ringtone is Mbop by Hanson. I prefer salty to sweet. I prefer chips to chocolate. I saw Hanson five times live in the past five years. Pottermore has sorted me in Hufflepuff. I am an only child. Growing up I've had um, a few different pets. I've had fish, I've had hamsters, I've had birds, and I now have a cat. The cat is by far the best one. I have never left Canada. I just recently finished my education, my post high school education, so my college education in February of 2015. I have been single my entire life. I've been on dates, but I've never actually had a boyfriend. All my stuffed animals have names. Every time I get one, I feel the need to name it. It's like, I don't know, it's just something inside me that says you have to name it. You can't leave it without a name. It would just be a shame. I am five foot eight. I will try anything once, it doesn't matter what it is, unless it's like skydiving, that that could kill me. But if it doesn't kill me, I will try anything once. <laughs> At the age of 10, or something like that, or maybe 9, I don't know what age I was, I did ballet for a year and I did tap dance for like 6 months before that. If I have a pen and paper in hand, I will most likely doodle on it. It's just something that I have to do. I don't know why. It's just an urge in me that I have to doodle on the piece of paper. It's not even like pretty pictures. It's just like smiley face, hearts, scribble, just anything. I love learning about space and stars and planets and just everything space. I just find it really fascinating. I have a habit of playing with my hair all the time. Like you don't see it much on video because I'm doing something, but if I'm not doing anything, I'll just take like a random strand of hair and play with it like this for like ever. It just it's just something I've always done. I think it might be because when I was little, like really little, I used to suck my thumb and I used to take a piece of hair and suck my thumb and play with it. So I've been doing this since I was like born, so. 
I think my feet have shrunk in the last year because I used to be size 9, but recently I bought like 3 pairs of shoes and they're all 8 and a half. So I don't know if the shoes got smaller or bigger or my feet got smaller. I never straighten my hair anymore. Over the past 2-3 years, I don't know what happened to my hair, but I don't have to straighten it anymore. There used to be this weird wave in it that I didn't like at all, so I used to straighten it all the time. But now I can wash my hair and leave it air dry and it looks fine. I don't have to straighten it anymore. Like this is not straightened hair. This is just my natural hair. I will only eat spaghetti if my mom makes the sauce from scratch. I don't like bottled spaghetti sauce. I don't like um, restaurant spaghetti sauce. I only like my mom's spaghetti sauce. I am an introvert. I have phases where if I realize that I like something, I'll obsess over it. I'll do everything in my power that I can do it all the time. Like, let's say um, I buy a pair of shoes, I make sure that I can wear that pair of shoes every single day until my phase goes away. Even like a necklace. I buy a necklace and I really like it, I'll wear it every single day. I sleep with my socks on more often than not. I have a paper airplane necklace just like Harry Styles and this means I am Harry Styles' girlfriend. So deal with it. When I go to Montana's, I always, always, always order the firecracker burger. It is the best thing in the world. The chipotle sauce that they put on it is heavenly good. Okay. okay. Oh god. I am a Larry shipper, so if you don't know what Larry is, you can Google it. I'm not gonna sit here and explain it because it's gonna start something and I don't want to start something. I have only ever read the first Harry Potter book. I think I've read it twice, maybe three times. I have the box set right there, but I've never actually read the entire series, but it is a priority for 2015. I play the ukulele. I have a habit of biting the inside of my lip. Not like this part, but just like the lip where your lip is. I guess this would be the inside of your cheek. So yeah, the inside of my lip, I always bite at it. I don't know why, it's just something that I've always done. When I get up in the morning, the first thing I do is turn on the music that I listen to while I get ready because I need something to wake me up in the morning, to make me happy, to make me want to get up in the morning. So the second I put on the music on my phone, I am ready to go and wash my face, eat, get ready, you know, the usual stuff. There are three paintings in my house um, that I made in art class in high school and middle school and they're all trees. <laughs> when I went to my third Hanson concert, I was in front row and for some reason, I think I mentally talked to the drummer, Zach, and was like, give me your drumstick, give me your drumstick. And then at the end of the show, um, he always gives a drumstick to somebody in the crowd, and I don't know what happened, but I just saw him coming towards me with a drumstick in hand, and I just stuck my hand out there, and I got the precious hand, Zach Hansen drumstick, that every girl in the crowd wants and me and my friend we were standing next to each other and we both grabbed the stick at the same time and all I could think was who the hell has a hand on my drumstick? It was a good thing it was her because there would have been like a fight um, happening right there so we just looked at each other and we were like share share so we both got one half of the drumstick set and I will treasure this forever. Thank you, Zach Hansen, thank you. Summer is my all-time favorite season. I still question to this day, even though I just finished my um, college course, what I want to do with my life. Sometimes I'm like, do I really want to do this? Do I want to do something else? I, I still question it, guys, it's normal. I prefer washing the dishes to drying them. I hate drying dishes, it, oh, it drives me nuts. The first thing I do when I get home from anywhere is change out of my clothes to PJs and I put my hair up in a bun. I don't mind bees, but I am so scared of wasps. Hilary Duff was the first concert I ever went to. I love playing card games. Tradition is everything to me. Like at Christmas, everything has to be the same every single year because otherwise I get really upset. <laughs> I took two courses of Spanish in high school, but I can barely make a sentence now. We have a really old clock in my house where it like ticks, it's like a, a ticking clock, 
and I don't hear it anymore because we're so used to the tick. I fell in love with Montreal, Quebec, um, ever since I went there the first time, like five, four, four years ago now, and I want to go again and again and again. I just love the city so much. If I'm wondering what a song goes like and there's another song playing in the background, I can't make myself think of the song that I want to think about. The other song is just messing with my brain and I can't, I have to turn the other one off so I can think of the one that I want. <laughs> so there you go, those were 50 random facts about me. I hope you learned something new that you didn't know, which is probably most of this stuff because I don't really talk about my personal life when I'm making videos because it doesn't relate to the video whatsoever. So I hope that this gave you an insight on what I'm like, what I like, what I don't like, um, what I'm scared of. Now I want to know one or maybe two, three, how many random facts you want about yourself in the comments below because I want to learn new stuff about you guys. So please let me know what you guys like, what you don't like, what you're scared of, and I will see you guys next time with a brand new video.